Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Oxygen Not Included here in the Ultimate Base 4.0. In today's episode I would like to wrap up what we're doing currently and I also would like to start another project. Slowly but surely I think it's time to focus on our main goal of actually building a hotel for duplicants. So what I'm definitely going to do is come up with a design that we could use for a normal let's say hotel room and then maybe we can also already brainstorm a little bit of the infrastructure that we're going to require. In order to do that efficiently I'm going to need the help of May. She is the perfect candidate to actually take care of that problem but I don't only want to send her in the future I also would like to send my builders from the main planetoid and thinking about it what we might want to take care of first is an oxygen system so we already have the possibility to actually remain here for an extended period of time. I already got a payload opener in the joint we do need a couple of solar panels to make things actually viable and working and of course also right here with the heat of the rocket we have to do something. But yeah without any further ado let's just keep on going here. I decided that I want to set up a border here at the bottom so there's still a lot of terrain that I would like to remove actually ooh, I don't have enough stuff here yeah it looks like the igneous rock I just ran out but I guess we'll be getting lots more granite and also sedimentary rock that we can use ceiling collapse what are you talking about wait a second I still have some gristle berry in here and omelets but it looks like we ran out of kilocalories dude are you serious how did this happen I took 30 kilograms of food with me maybe it just went bad I don't know but this time around I'm actually just gonna send over some food let me see uh, where was that on radato so we should be able to just send that over and make sure we can fill this up because i still have a full gas cargo canister and i don't want to send may over just yet so let's switch that to radato right there and i'm gonna be sending over some edibles mostly cooked seafood no actually what are we making yeah the surf and turf so i want to bring some over here allow manual use there are no pending deliveries let's see what's up with our food at the moment i got some cooked seafood in here we're actually missing the barbecue there is some barbecue here yeah this is a real problem it's like i need two refrigerators just to make the surf and turf and then a refrigerator for the surf and turf so i think what i gotta do is bring the barbecue in here and then the cooked seafood later Actually, we don't have any barbecue. That is just not true. There is barbecue right here. Ah, did I say, wait a second. How is this not working? I want barbecue. There's at least 32,000 kilocalories of barbecue. Oh, wait. Ah, I cannot reach this. What? You know, I wonder, could I have a storage bin on top of a door that is closed? I think we need to try that out because we could theoretically reach through the door and that honestly makes a lot of sense. So let's try that out. Gonna need that pneumatic door as soon as possible, please. May? Oh man, why? Why are you guys doing this to me? I just don't get it. Are you just kidding me? So May apparently trapped herself here with insufficient resources to build this, even though I do think we have some. Now go back and do your stuff. Jeez, are we in kindergarten here? Okay, now I got my pneumatic door and it still counts as a missing tab. So unfortunately it's not working and because it's not standing on something, it also doesn't do what I want it to do. Okay, so what other solution could I have? I mean, everything is in the way. We need this, we need that and we need everything. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm just gonna get rid of this conveyor loader here for the time being. Right now, I don't think it leads anywhere. And then I'm gonna move this auto sweeper one block up this is the only option i currently see so if i have the auto sweeper here then i'm still able to reach everything including this refrigerator and this would actually solve our problems okay so now i can at least have my barbecue here as well as my cooked seafood and this i think i'm just gonna put to a hundred kilograms because i only have that in here in order to spice it up wait i only have it here in order to cook it up in the gas range and then once it becomes surf and turf it's going to be put into the spice grinder that now makes sense the only issue could be that we fill this up like now with just cooked seafood and no barbecue so that is a little bit unfortunate we also have 75 kilograms of cooked seafood that is almost stale 
So what happens if I compost this? Are we gonna get some barbecue? No, that was still cooked seafood. Are you kidding me? So now I have another batch of 70 kilograms of cooked seafood that I'm also gonna compost. Well, just temporarily. And then I'm gonna say they shouldn't compost it anymore. Wait a second. It just got put back. Ah, okay. This is how I can cycle everything. Now we should have the barbecue as well. Okay, nice. I have the six kilograms of barbecue here and they should now be cooked up inside of the gas range. And so I guess right now I'm just gonna send over some omelets. We should be capable of doing that. Quinn is taking care of it and Jean. And there are some omelets now being shipped over. Let me see that happening. Yes. And if I just check the contents here in our launcher, we have 140 kilograms plus 16.8 kilograms. Yeah, I think it's gonna be easier to just send something over that is unrelated. So instead of omelets, let's maybe send over some igneous rock or something. Just anything insignificant and we also don't have to send over too much. That is already enough in order to get this to launch once. And now I should be getting those payloads to Ratato in order to refuel and then I can still take apart the rest of the terrain here. We got a meteor shower in 1.9 cycles but I usually tend to forget about them so I'm already gonna shut down the bunker doors. Oh no, what did I do? Oh my gosh, are you serious? Okay, I just destroyed the hives here by being silly. I guess by opening this, yeah. I thought I had this closed. Now this means we probably have to drain this. It's not cold enough right now. Yeah, this is really bad. Well, maybe we get some of it back. Uh, it's definitely too much to be mopped up properly, but I might be able to drain it by taking away some of the less important materials. Ah, no, <laughs> this is so bad. Oh, why you have to do this to me, game? Okay, we still have one, two, three, potentially four. I wanted to knock the other one out, but I'm really hoping that I'm getting these nests back once we get rid of some of this nasty liquid. I mean, we still have the bees here. We have a chance that they come back. Just a little update to keep you up to speed. I now filled up my liquid cargo rocket and I'm coming back while in the meantime on Radato I'm building the layer that I want to have as a border between the cold and hot region. As a matter of fact, I extended this to include the new beta hive because uh, these hives here are lost due to duplicant error. Let's just say that. So as soon as I'm done taking apart the entirety of this terrain right here, I may be preparing a bunch of the geysers. We are gonna make our way back with just enough oxygen in order to refuel them and possibly make our way over to the hotel planetoid. Now there's actually one more planetoid that I would like to visit functionality wise. And that is, let me see, I don't know. We've discovered it already. Yeah, I think it was Gorgano right here. If we oversee the planetoid right here, this is where we get the resin and we do have a surplus of food. Let's just say that. I composted a whole bunch of meal lice. I kind of regret that now thinking about the tree. But generally speaking, we could sacrifice some food there's still a lot we need to do when it comes to food, but my intention is probably to have a bunch of cooks over at the planetoid and then just provide the raw ingredients. But yeah, today I also would like to just start by designing the tiles that we are going to require. Like for the hotel, we don't necessarily need metal tiles. These guys are just going to hang around. They're going to be pretty much the laziest stoops ever. So I think what we should focus on is making this really nice with a bunch of carpeted tiles. And what I'm doing here is in no specific place. I'm just designing the hotel room itself. I want to have the bathroom included, also a shower and everything. So just for one duplicant, it's actually going to take up quite a bit of space. However, we could get started with a comfy bed here. Let me place that maybe right there. Considering the bed is facing this way and I cannot rotate it, I would like this to be on the right side of the room. So maybe this is going to be the very edge and then we could go with a bunch of gold tiles in order to keep things at a high decorative value. And I want to make sure to have enough space towards the top. So four tiles and I might be doing it like this and then have another carpeted tile. Though yeah, that might not even be necessary. We can just have the next floor here. The bedroom should be large enough for a bed stand or some pedestal of some sorts and then maybe something else. Let me see. I was first thinking about the water cooler, but we could just also go with the party line phone. I think this would be actually fitting. 
Let me see, we can build this out of gold probably and have that, let's say right here. And then I also would like to see a pedestal just right next to it. Also, a nice little picture would be great. This is gonna go right here, leaving us the space for either a crown molding or even better, a hanging lamp made out of, mm, actually we can have a sunny hanging pot here. What do you think? Or we're just gonna go with the arrow pot in order to get the maximum decor here. Then I think I want to have a gold tile here as a divider. So this would be the pneumatic door making up the room. And then the next room would be the bathroom with a shower. And I think metal tiles are fitting for this. Considering the planetoid isn't too large, I need to consider that I cannot just make it very spacious. But honestly, a five-star hotel should also contain a bathroom, though I might want to have this on the other side. Yeah, I think this might be more fitting. So I would have this here together with a shower as well as a sink. Where do we have that medicine sink? So this would go right there. And we have some metal tiles as flooring, another door right here here. Good. If this is one unit, we take up about five spaces or so per level. Um, we can have like two next to each other. I think we can do that. Now, you guys also wanted me to have some water all the way around the hotel. There is actually a geyser very much in the way. But I think if we get started here with the rooms, we should be good. We can have two rooms next to each other with a ladder dividing them. Or you know what would be fancy is if they didn't even have to use ladders. We just do everything with transit tubes. Yeah, I kind of like that idea. Oh man, I wish I could just copy this over. That would be so convenient. I guess there is the blueprint mod, but the last time I checked it wasn't functional. So I'm thinking since this is the most luxurious planetoid, we're gonna be filling this up with a whole bunch of plastic tiles here in order to make it flat. So let's see, there is the part that sticks out the most. That means this is gonna be my border. We're gonna have three tiles of water in between that and the hotel. So this would be my border here and then right there would be the last layer. So one, two, three and here, right? Uh, yes. We're gonna be thermoregulating the entire planetoid. So I don't think we're gonna be needing any insulated tiles. We can directly get started with the rooms themselves. Or maybe we have some bunker tiles just on the outside, just to, you know, brag. In this case, this would be my edge right there. And we can get started with the room. Let me just replicate this briefly. I think I might make this even fancier with a bunch of glass tiles here. Ah, the glass tiles towards the outside would be nice as well. But I think I prefer the brick-like texture of the bunker tiles. So the way we could potentially do this is have a transit tube access point here, then the transit tube leading down and up depending on what they need. And then we replicate the same thing or mirror the same thing towards the other side. Let's see, we have about 19 tiles towards this. Oh, actually, let's only count this one here. That is 16 tiles. So I need 16 tiles up to here. Let me see where we end up. Ooh. Okay, if I build this contraption towards the left side, then we might just get away with it. So I kind of have to test this out. And this is also, yeah, let's do the plastic wall here. At least the first part. This is going to go all the way up and this can now go. And in order to do some maintenance, I'm also going to be needing a ladder towards the outside here. Uh, let me just build this straight in the center of the intended water room. And this should go all the way up. Yeah, this is actually going to be a huge building project. Let me get rid of that because of the rocket and then we come down here towards this side so this would be the lower edge here with the three tiles in between good now all i have to do is mirror the room that i currently have going on now i'm going against my decision to have the bed in a certain direction but what can i say i rather have some symmetry now going on here with the room distribution so this would be the bed in this case we have the door right here and we can continue then we have these bunker tiles going all the way around and look at that. I think we get away with it. So this would be the width of the room. If I continue this, I can have two rooms per five tiles. Let's see how far up we want to possibly build this. That is about 100 tiles. So that would be 40 rooms, 40 duplicates. Yeah, and this way we could use the rest of the space that we have available in order to do all the fancy hotel stuff, including potentially some kind of a petting suit. 
to. But yeah, I like where this is going. We're gonna need to pay this planetoid a visit very shortly in order to establish the first part here and potentially also reroute the ladder we have going on. In order to make good use of that, I need to remember to bring along a little bit of glass in order to establish more solar panels and potentially also batteries. Maybe we're just gonna build up the batteries here, even if just temporarily. We could totally do that. All we need is some metal ore that we can also bring along and just stack up the batteries a little bit so these solar panels can do their work. But yeah, this is looking promising. Now I'm gonna continue here on Radito and be right back once I feel like it's time. Alrighty, I just made my way back here with May in order to refuel the rocket. As you can see, we're just charging it up here with a bunch of oxygen. Everything else is already ready and I would say we're gonna make our way over to the water planetoid. I also got my water rocket here one more time. I think we can still land here in the center actually thinking about it. So this landing pad here, maybe I'm gonna rename it to center pad or so, so we can decide to actually do this here. Uh, enable the building. I always hit the enter key when renaming and sometimes that disables the buildings. Anyway, as soon as I got this charged up, I'm gonna make my way over there. In the meantime, I already got a whole bunch. Ooh, you are missing an Atmos suit. Oh, this is crazy. I did not realize that. So Jean is kind of stuck here and we just need to deliver two Atmos suits apparently. But yeah, either way, I made sure to put a whole bunch of things into that storage bin. And then what I did is just dropped it on the floor. So right now we are collecting the Igni rock from the looks of it. I think we can disable this again. So it's on the floor. I already got some plastic, gold, steel and cobalt. Now is there anything else I would like to take with me? I mean we are still gonna have to send over a whole bunch of materials but I, it's gonna make it a lot easier if we already have like 20 tons of each that I know we're gonna be using. Maybe if we just have a look right here. I got the plastic, I got the ore. Well technically I don't have the ore because we are lacking gold ore. I only have like two 2,900 kilograms. So on the hotel planetoid, I'm probably not going to build with the gold amalgam ore, but with a different one, like the cobalt or so. It doesn't really matter. It's not like it's going to make a visual difference for us. It might make a difference in terms of decorations for the duplicants, but this is insignificant on the hotel planetoid since they're going to be happy either way with everything that I'm giving them. So yeah, I would say we're just going to wait until this is actually fueled up. Right now I have uh, almost the 3,600 kilograms in here. Ooh, what's happening? It's not going up. Am I just wasting oxygen? How is this a thing? Yeah, it's going in there, but the oxygen is not being delivered. Like this guy here isn't filling up anymore and this guy isn't filling up either. Looks like this might have been going on for a while. At least my oxygen system seems to be very much taxed. Now, is this really a thing? No, now it's full. And now this guy's filling up. Okay, that was so weird. By the way, we now have plenty of water here. Also, the second and third planetoid, they are just absolutely doing wonderfully. I stopped the making of petroleum for a little while so we can start to accumulate a little bit of oil. As you can see, all of these liquid reservoirs are full. So as soon as we need a little bit of petroleum, we're gonna have it. No issues whatsoever there. And in the meantime, I'm still cleaning up the planetoid, taking apart the last few remaining materials or terrain that we have going on here. I might actually get rid of this crushed satellite since I don't really need it on this planetoid. It would have been really handy on the third planetoid here in order to charge up the interplanetary launcher but right now I'm doing it like this. I think my guys here, here became active again. No it's still dormant but it's going to be active in five cycles so once that happens I'm not going to be struggling that much and we can make use of the gas generators a little bit more explicitly. And I still would like to get all of the various critters here. At least four more different critters we have to get here. I guess if we do get a different type of fish we could also send it through here but generally speaking we should just send over the eggs. It's gonna make it easier. Also something that I've seen happening here with the spice grinder and I feel like this might be a bug but every once in a while it just doesn't get the mealwood seeds that are necessary like you can see. Insufficient resources mealwood seeds and this is not something that I have insufficient of like this guy here is filled with 94 kilograms of seeds. And the reason I believe this might be a bug is because as soon as I disable, no, actually not disable the surf and turf. That's not what I wanted to do. What I need to do is 
just disable the recipe and then enable it again and then suddenly it's gonna add the mealwood seeds again and the duplicant is gonna come along rather quickly. Plant meat, is this something new? I never saw that. Surf and turf, yeah everything is being stored. So this is kind of weird. I have to get back to this at least every five minutes if I want it to work continuously. By the way, we're almost ready here. I'm looking forward to this. I'm already gonna change the destination over to the water planetoid so that in the next episode we can actually get started with the hotel build and I'm gonna be really excited for that. Should we take Nisbet with us? I wonder. Hmm, maybe in the next flight. For now I'm just gonna allow May to do the chores and in the future we will have to reroute this pipe so maybe I'm already gonna do this now. Hmm, actually yeah we probably want to follow this ladder here. So eventually there's gonna be a ladder going all the way up and ooh this is actually not good. And that reminds me we should probably take a little bit of granite with us. Yeah, let me get rid of that pipe again. So this would not actually work out because this is the very edge here. Ah, that is a little bit unfortunate. It looks like I will have to implement this somehow into the build. I totally forgot that I wanted to have like a water source. Ah, no, that isn't even necessary. Like the hotel here is gonna continue, right? All the way up to the right side and then go up again. Okay, so we can actually avoid this, but that means I will have to route the water through this ladder here which still isn't built so I guess for now until we have it built we're gonna be going up I think I'm gonna make two levels to begin with and then we just connect the pipe and gradually make our way up but yeah it's gonna be a mega project so better get started right now and in the meantime let me see the colonizer here I would like to see a little bit of granite here as well raw mineral granite and actually thinking about it some ceramic might also be nice because we need at least one room to cool things down so including an aqua tuner and it would be nice to get that into a ceramic encasement good got almost 20 tons of granite in there now i'm just waiting for some ceramic quinn actually slept here a little bit is it possible that the two suits are gone again I don't get it. At least one suit should still be here. Oh well, let me actually also unlock more blueprints. We're just gonna get through them rather quickly. Missed the first one. It was another lamp and there is the gloves. Pastel purple. I thought I already had that. Pastel pink. Come on. Uh, some balloons and I already clicked again. Oh, this is so confusing. Slouchy lemon socks. Okay, that is kind of funny. Some more gloves. Super fan gym socks. Slouchy strawberry socks. And that was already everything. Jeez, okay. Wait, I don't get it. How is this possible? How do you even get here without a suit? Absolutely unbelievable. I just... I just don't believe you. The dupe that comes in is gonna put in an Atmo suit, right? And then he's using that same Atmo suit again. So how can they become empty? I mean, the only reason would be that one of the suits is worn or broken. Okay, that totally goes beyond my brain. I mean, if I rewatch it, I probably get it how that happened. But now we have the same situation as before. Oh my gosh, we have two duplicates in here. So there should be two suits. I guess it can happen when there are multiple dupes, but there should still be the Atmo suit dogs. Like, there should at least be two suits when there is a duplicate in here. Uh, I'm not gonna question it. Also, they don't seem to be bothered actually carrying away the polluted water, even though I have it specifically set up here so they can dump it. Like, the... Oh, oh. Never mind. By the way, we're almost ready. I just want to make sure that we also got some ceramic here. Uh, maybe we are stopping the delivery because there's already, what, 12 tons? And that is certainly enough for a steam chamber. But yeah, with just a little bit of oxygen left to go, I think it's soon time to get this baby rolling. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the bunker doors. And I guess May is already the crew, right? Yeah, we just got May as a pilot. There's just 200 kilograms of oxygen to go. I think we can ignore this acknowledge the warnings what is the warning just the pilot and the cargo transfer that isn't complete so let's begin that launch sequence may is tagging along now let me quickly see i need to make sure that i have enough suits uh, like there's an atmos suit with only six durability but we have fresh atmos suits here they were all worn so i'm pretty sure they are now repaired actually can i check that durability 78 the second one has a hundred percent the third one also 100% okay so we should be good and now May is incoming you need to deliver another suit here yeah 
Uh, wait, wait, wait. Deliver it over there. Okay. And now you can just fly away. Okay, wonderful. I'm actually looking forward to this. I also need to reset my skills once I'm here. So I can probably just take a skill scrubber. Maybe place it here. Uh, yeah, I should have some gold. Make sure this is also hooked up to power. And then we're gonna scrub our skills here with May in order to make sure she's happy. I mean, we don't need to dig anything up. And actually looking at May, we have the super duper hard digging skill. I don't need that. I'm not gonna need the field research so we can save a little bit on morale points because when she's just over at a planetoid she is low on morale and therefore also suffering a little bit but here we go we are on our merry way let's make sure to close this again and then in the next episode we can start on the hotel build so I'm really looking forward to that in preparation for that I'm already gonna change the destination here with the launcher so that I have it pointed the correct way in the meantime on this planetoid I also want to make sure to cover up most of the stuff looks like now i sent over most of the plastic to the water planetoid but that is fine we are still producing plastic on a regular basis but yeah i would say with that out of the way we are ready to wrap up today's episode thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it have a great time and see you soon bye bye